All right, hey there, Prox Gamer Crew, and this is Prox right here, and welcome back to another episode of the Spiders of Heroes Tale Let's Play. And if you guys do go and see where I am right now, I'm back over at where the nursery is over around down here in the Dragon Village, uh, because we're going to go and get ourselves a brand new upgrade uh, for Spyro once again. And this time, we're going to go and get ourselves with the Ball Gadget upgrade so that we can go and start reaching out over towards into our next main destination known as the Dragonfly Falls. Now, if you guys do recall, we have been doing a little bit of some searching around within here, uh, within the the Crocoville Swamp. I know that there's some other missing areas uh, that I still need to go and uh, basically explore around out here. I'm going to do that on my own time and try to figure out where most of these are light gems are going to be just so that at least uh, at some point later on we can go and return back here to the Crocoville Swamp and have the 40 light gems that we do need and at least try to get ourselves another bigger upgrade uh, for Spyro later on down the road within our time of this game. Uh, but with all that being said in mind, we got ourselves a professor to go and talk to and uh, not only that uh, but if you guys uh, do enjoy this episode out here for today, make sure that you guys do go and give a like and also a comment down below to show your support. And if you guys want to go and stay up to date with anything that is happening out here with the channel, make sure to go and uh, click on that notification bell to uh, also go and watch uh, the, the well, most of the vids uh, early if you guys do want to go and check them out uh, a little bit faster than normal. And also as well too uh, with the live streams of Luigi Mansion Dark Moon as well. Uh, but for right now, here it is. Here's the professor. We'll go and interact with them. Alright, Spyro, this ball gadget is ready to roll. <laughs> Did you hear that? I just made a joke. Okay, Spyro, just step onto the pad and activate it, and the ball gadget will materialize. Okay. Now, basically what needs to happen here is that to get this ball gadget is that you need to have at least eight light gems. And that's going to be a pretty early upgrade uh, for Spyro uh, since we do have enough of them. Because if you guys do go and see, we originally had six out of the six within our time of this area of the Dragon Village. And not only that, but we also do have six out of the ten uh, with the Crocoville Swamp. So six plus six, we already have 12 of them so far. So that's pretty nice. So let's go and uh, step on here and get this upgrade and head it on down towards it to this way now this is gonna be pretty cool look at this uh, now we're gonna be playing a little bit of super monkey ball down at our time or to say uh super spiral ball if that is what the title of the episode is gonna be known as but this is really cool this is really fun I, and, and i do enjoy this part like uh quite a bit as well uh this is, actually brings back a little bit of some memories of uh my time playing throughout this game now, uh, since we did go and miss out on one spot, uh, we should go and possibly go and retry that out again because you don't want to be missing out on anything because, again, if, if you want to do a, a lot of different uh, exploration around out here, you may possibly want to go and see if there's going to be any extra, like, dragon eggs or anything. So I'm going to go and head through this side and try to do this again. There we go. That's a little bit better. Now I can go and check around through this side. So it looks like I am somewhat on a new path. So yeah, always go and just follow uh, where the gems are going to be and it will take you right to there. There we go. Now we got it. Now just like that, I made it through. Uh, I just want to go and check one more other side that's here. Oh my god. Okay, or not. Okay, so there's something up there, but I already went and grabbed it. That's totally fine. Anything else down this way? There is another hole that's down there. Uh, I don't know. Should I go and head down to that part or should I just go and keep on exploring through here? I think that's about it. There's nothing really else to there unless if you want any more extra other gems. So this is the one spot to go and head on down to. Uh, do you want to go and stay on the ball gadget? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to say uh, select no to go and exit. Well, I'll exit out of here. I don't think we really do need the ball gadget anymore. Nothing was it anything too much else of a concern. But here we are. We're at Dragonfall, uh, Dragonfly Falls now. So very nice. And not only that, but Zoe is here to go and save our progress again. And uh, let's see what we got for different things to go out here with. So it looks like there's going to be six different dragon eggs. We got ourselves with four of the different dark gems. And we also do have nine of the different light gems. And there's a lot of stuff to go and explore around out here. This area is pretty massive. And not only that, but there's like each little different little set of uh, big areas within this part. So there's going to be quite a bit of stuff to go and uh, basically explore around out here with. So let's go and uh, see what I can do. Just have to be really careful of those spikes. We already seen those spikes already from before. Basically back over at the Crocoville Swamp. So I'll try to remember to stay far away from those just so that we won't have to go and injure out here with sparks. But let's go and blast our way through here though. 
And hey, look at that. There is a lot of stuff going on out here for some treasure. Okay, so let's go ahead and bash out on that one there. Anything special? Nothing. Yeah, so unfortunately there's no golden chest, but I do see that there's actually one right over there. So we'll just have to go and make sure to pinpoint exactly where money bags is going to be. And uh, we'll go and buy ourselves another lockpick later on down the road. So, now I have to say, this place is really beautiful. And, and, and there's like so many cool like little tropical areas that just make this area like just absolutely look amazing within here. So I'm going to go ahead and knock out that guy. Okay, so it looks like we got ourselves a little bit of a hidden cave down this way. And unfortunately, oh, the bats took me out. Oh, I thought that those bats uh, were going to be at least somewhat pretty nice to me. <laughs> All right, fine. Okay, well, let's go and do that again without having to get myself hit by those bats again. I'll just have to just make sure to go and uh, destroy them. There we go. There are those bats here anymore. So all that they were here for was just to go and literally destroy me and then and then basically then run away afterwards. That's pretty nice. There we go. That works out a little bit better. Now I don't know, does did that go and destroy those vine plants there? Probably not. Uh well, they went and disappeared, so at least we got ourselves some sort of opening. And not only that, but if you guys do recall these are the type of uh, dark gems that we have to go and, uh, or dark shards, I just say, to go and break down so that we can at least try to open up for another pathway later on. If that is going to happen here. Because I know that that was supposed to go on and happen uh, within our time uh, for Dragon Village. And I think we are still missing out on a few other different shards, though. I think we're just missing out, I think, just on two more of those within that area. Okay, so there we go. So we already got ourselves with one dragon egg so far. So we'll just have to keep on a lookout for anything else that kind of feels a little bit suspicious or somewhat like out of the ordinary. Oh, and not only that, but let's go and also go and talk to Mr. Moneybags. And let's go and finally buy out on that lockpick. And let's see what else we got. Extra health unit. Wow, allow sparks to actually go with stand for another extra hit. I would not mind actually having that, to be perfectly honest with you. But that is just going to like eat up all my money. <laughs> Because just by seeing how much gems that there are, that's like 6250. And you know what? Just for me, in my opinion, I think this is going to be the better idea. Okay, so let's go and make a run back towards into that cave spot again. And again, we got some fodder. So if you ever do need to actually have any extra health up for Sparks, they're right there. But I'm going to go and head over here to this side. And hopefully try to manage out our reach to get over there. Oh my god, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Okay. Well, at least we managed to go and reach out over to here beforehand. And there we go. We got ourselves with that. Very nice. And I think that about does it here within that whole area. I don't think there was anything else for, uh, that, that was, uh, too special now. Okay, so let's see. So, we still got some little bit of some area around up in here that we haven't really went and checked out too much here recently. So yeah, always go and always uh, check around with your map because if because if you ever think that you kind of missed out on something, uh, your map will already basically tell you uh, with everything that you've already seen uh, so far. So yeah, so now we went and seen most of this type of part now. And what is that? Are those? Oh no! Okay, let's go and make sure that we go and uh, get these guys out of the way. Nice. And are you a bad guy too? I guess so. We got some farmer dudes out here. What the heck? That doesn't really work well with a tropical setting. <laughs> that's that's pretty weird. Oh, we got one of those like vault doors again. I don't know exactly how we're supposed to open up with those doors, unless if there's like a firework or something that's supposed to be down here. But I'm gonna go ahead down here into this pathway because I have a fe funny feeling that there should at least be something special out here. That I may need to go and check around with. Nothing was that. Uh, it was just some extra gems. That was about it. Uh, I don't think I'll probably be able to go and reach on down to that way because I don't think my fly power is going to be enough to even reach on over towards to that other one. Unless if there's like probably like a switch somewhere, maybe, to go and at least uh, figure out where I need to go. No, and I fell into the water. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, I thought this water was a little bit deeper than I was thinking for. But that's pretty nice. There we go, made it back up. Okay, perfect. 
But there is this little hideaway, though, after since I just made it all the way back up here. Okay, so since I made it all the way back up here now, guys, uh, there is one thing that we can go and check. That's just r right around here in this location. But just be really careful around within this way because it seems like these spikes are going really fast. So we'll have to just time this out super properly. But I think everything's good now. Now, yeah, so this is going to be a whole new area. Because I have a funny feeling that we have not seen this part here just yet. And it looks like there could be some extra hidden stuff down here. So I'm going to head over here. And I'm going to see. Can I probably. I don't think my uh, fire breath is going to do a lot of damage. So we'll probably have to use. Uh, oh, can I go and use any type of. Oh no. Oh. Come on. Oh, well I completely wasted out on those. Because I know that you can actually hold out on those fireballs for like a much longer time. But. That completely wasted out on all of those. Oh no, just have to really be careful with that guy. There you go, he's already done. I'm not gonna let those product plants try to eat me up again. No, thank you. Eh, we've already been through that type of scenario from before. Oh no, now we got one of these big, huge guys. The ones that like to uh, have a whole bunch of body armor on them. Okay, so let me just check this out here. Nothing. Hmm. Well, it seems like there's another pathway, and that would have to be down here. Ah, there we go. Yep, just follow the gems, and it'll just take us right on into into this part. Oh, boy. Now, just by judging exactly where these gems are going to be taking me towards to with, I have a funny feeling that this is going to probably lead us into a light gem. I hope so. Ooh, let's go and head down here. Oh, uh, this looks somewhat suspicious. I do see that there's something down there. Can we just go and head down here in, 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 into this part anyways? Uh, well, that seems a little bit weird. Can I just fall down here? There we go. So, Spyro, these terminals uh, will uh, elevate you into places that you cannot normally go and reach. Okay, so we're going to be, I guess, seeing these things here from time to time. Okay, so we can't really go and do anything with that. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's go back up here then. So that pedestal seems like we may potentially need to go and use that for something. So we'll have to come back to that one uh, for next time. Okay, just have to follow the pattern. And we'll go through here. Oh, there's Zoe. Perfect. Okay. Whoa, there's a lot of things here. So we have to go and smash that guy on down. Or we could go and head over to the next dark gem. All right, can we make it? Yes, we can. Next dark gem is here. And it looks like uh, with all that being said in mind, we got ourselves now with a, uh, with a cannon. So that means we could actually be able to go and destroy out on uh, some of these different rocks that are here. Uh, what? Uh, do we need to have like a much longer reach or something? Hold on. Okay. Let's lift it up like up there. That should be a little bit better. Does that have enough reach? Nope. Not even close. I have to put my best Wind Waker uh, shooting, I guess, here to the test. If I can. Okay, so I did, uh, did I do anything? There we go. That should now go and lift down on another cannon there. So perfect. So I went and taken care of those guys. So now they don't have to become a, too much of a problem now. So now we got this big huge area now uh, finally accessible to us. So let's see. So this area does actually pertain out on having a dragon egg down here. And it kind of looks almost like a Yoshi egg. <laughs> if you kind of almost see what it like almost looks like over here. Nice, so there we go. Got ourselves a dragon egg right on over this way, but hopefully whoever is uh, here in that nest is not going to get uh, too angry that I went and uh, took their egg uh, from them. That would be a little bit of a crazy problem there. 
Uh, but I think, you know what? I think it's a good enough time for me to just go and end off this episode for today. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Uh, we'll continue onwards with some more of Dragonfly Falls. There is still plenty of more things to go and do around out here and hopefully try to figure out where the next Elder Dragon is going to be because I believe each of these different areas are going to basically pertain out on having another uh, Elder uh, that's going to be around out here for the time being. So I'll see you guys then and peace.